Hello guys, today I will share with you the Synecron Java interview for Mumbai location. Uh, this interview for 4 years of experienced person. The person should have knowledge of Java 8, Spring Boot and Angular JS. Basically it is for full stack Java developer but they might ask you your questions regarding Java 8, Spring Boot and Angular JS. It was half an hour interview, around 20 questions they have asked. Let's start with, so these are the 14 questions they asked in the interview. What are Java 8 features? What is the difference between sequential and parallel stream then stream they have asked two questions like how to sort descending order employee by name and how to get employee salary is more than 10,000 and add 2,000 bonus to all of the employees and then they ask one question regarding how we can create the immutable objects in Java then sixth question how to handle array index out of bound exceptions intention of that how you will handle the exceptions and seventh question what is the difference between class level lock and object level lock this is related to our multi threading and one more question they asked what is thread executor services thread executor service and then how to know how many threads are created by thread pool executor service or thread pool executor service then 10th question what type of dependency injection available in spring or spring boot and then they asked what is lazy initialization in spring what is bind in angular and how to get second highest element from an array of integer then final question what are the sorting algorithms available and which type of sort algorithm by default arrays.sort method is used so here first question what are java 8 features so friends java 8 brought several new features to the language earlier we don't have lambda expression so i highlighted this because this provides functional programming and one of the major change in java 8 and earlier versions of it for this they have introduced functional interfaces functional interfaces and lambda expression has some relationships and then to perform bulk operations on collections they have provided steam and this default method is also belongs to our functional interfaces if you want to provide bodies to the methods then we can use fault methods and static method inside the interface and again they have method references instead of using objects we can have now method as a reference but with will work with functional interface and then we have new date time in joda date time api and then we have optional classes to avoid null point exceptions and Nasron JavaScript engine. The second question they asked, I am providing brief whatever they asked and whatever I have replied. But you can explore till next level so that if they ask some cross questions regarding the things like in previous X we saw Java 8 features. So they might ask in the depth as well you need to prepare all those features in detail as well and again coming to question 2 the difference between sequential and parallel stream sequential stream process element one by one and in case of parallel stream it utilizes multiple threads for processing parallel streams are useful for improving performance on multi core system if you have multi core system then the best approach is to use parallel stream and if you want parallel operations to be performed on the stream then that case also you can prefer the parallel stream but if you want output to be sequential and everything to be in sequence then you can use sequential stream but where it is required to perform quickly then you should use parallel stream question 3 how to sort employees in descending order by name here is a code snippet how to sort employee descending by name we have list of employee and then we can do list dot stream and then we have sorted operation that is intermediate operation this is our intermediate operation and this is our terminal operation intermediate operation will be performed when we use one of the terminal operation we are using collect because we want output to be in list you can use the same code snippet which I have used or you can use some other here sorted inside the sorted we have comparator and then we have comparing method so here we are using method reference employee dot get name employee should have name field there available in your employee class and then because it is a string so then we can call reversed method and then we are collecting it this code will provide you the employee list in descending order by name and now coming to question 4 how to get employee salaries 10,000 and add 2,000 basically they want to understand whether you are able to perform some stream related or lambda operation related operations or by using stream you are comfortable with java 8 features or not we have list of employees again and then we are performing stream now we want to filter the filter we have this e object here and we are filtering by we are getting the salary and if the salary is greater than 10,000 then we are mapping this particular salary to plus 2,000 now e dot new get employee 
and now in the salary what we are doing we are doing plus 2000 and then again this is our terminal operation which collect whatever the list we have after the filter and map whatever the list we are getting we are converting it into the list of employees so the final output would be updated employees now coming to question 5 how to create immutable objects in java what is immutability first of all you need to understand once we create the object we cannot modify its content we have predefined our java provided classes like string wrapper classes these are the classes which are already immutable we cannot change its content to create immutable object there are certain rules we need to follow we can make classes final, make fields private and final, provide only getter method and one more we need not to expose the actual object instead of actual object we need to provide the clone object or copy of it. Question 6 how to handle array index out of bound exceptions to use proper bounds checking or handle it using try catch if you want to handle array index of bound exception then you can whenever you are accessing an array then you can check whether it is throwing some exception or not or you can check the size first of all to avoid it if the element they want to access and the size is less than that then you can write some if conditions or even if you don't know the size and everything then in that case just you need to add a catch block which has this array index out of bound exception 7 difference between class label lock and object label lock class label locks are the class class object while object label lock and instance of the object so we have class class in java class label lock locks the classes object while object label lock and instance of the object class label locks affects all instances while object label locks affect only the instance if you are locking the class then it affects all the objects which you are creating and if you are using object label then it affects only that particular object not entire class question 8 what is the thread executor service executor service provide a higher level replacement of working with thread because in earlier programming language we are creating thread using runnable or thread the thread operation is costly for our os as well as processor so in that case now we should not create too many threads in our program so that's why to provide better management they have provided executor services it manages thread pools and allow submitting task for asynchronous execution question 9 how to know number of threads created by executor service you can use method like get active count or track thread creation yourself even if you don't know then you can explore the j console and there you can check how many threads has been created question 10 types of dependency injection in spring spring supports constructor injection setter injection and field injection question 11 what is lazy initialization is in spring lazy initialization postpones the creation of a bean until it's first requested whenever if you want to create object on demand then in that case you should use lazy initialization uh, why should we be creating too many objects in the container so whenever it is required so that we can create the object in a spring container question 12 what is binding in an angular in angular template a binding creates live connection between a part of ui created from a template and model if you want to create connection between model and template template is nothing but our html elements a dom element like directive or component the component instance to which the template belongs these are like text interpolations we can say property binding event binding two-way binding these are the examples of binding you can explain like this now question 13 how to get second highest element from an int of array this is the simple code snippet uh, we have array of five elements and if you want to sort just we have to provide array dot sort method and then we need to provide the array and we will get sorted array and then add whatever the length we have and minus two will give you the second highest minus one means highest element because we want second highest then that the size of the length of the array would be five and the array index start with zero if you want to access this last element in that case you have to provide length minus one but if you want second highest then you have to do length minus two and arrays.sort method which algorithms is used to sort element 
in Java. So this is the question which asked like which algorithm sort is using by default. So it is using quick sort. I replied, but here is some description you can study like the method uses the dual pivot quick sort algorithm to sort elements. Dual pivot quick sort is an optimized version of the traditional quick sort algorithm that employs two pivot elements to improve performance. So this algorithm introduced in Java 7 and they have optimized the quick sort. That's why they are saying they have dual pivot quick sort. Thank you.